Hey guys, welcome to Digit.in and this is our review of the Acer Swift 3 laptop powered by the Ryzen CPU. Like the 14-inch Acer Swift 3 we reviewed earlier this year, this 15-inch variant has pretty much the same design and build quality. The machine features an aluminum shell with a brushed metal finish which feels quite premium. There is minimal flex in the machine and to give some sturdiness to the display panel, Acer has added a glass panel on the front. There is some minor flex in the keyboard deck but it does not hamper the typing experience. This 15-inch version also has the same design detail of chamfered edges around the lid and keyboard deck which looks nice and does not cut into your hands when you carry the device. Even though this is a big 15-inch laptop, Acer has kept the weight considerably low at 2 kilograms. The 15-inch TFT panel is of a similar quality as we saw on the 14-inch Intel variant. The color fidelity is good enough for a 40K machine and the display offers usable viewing angles even with the reflective glass front. Though the 15-inch display seems relatively sharp, the brightness is certainly on the lower side. Moving to I.O. on the left side, you get an HDMI port, USB 3.1 Gen 1 Type-C port, two USB 3.0 ports and a microphone headphone jack combo. On the right, the laptop features an SD card reader and a USB 2.0 port. The absence of an Ethernet port is missed. The keyboard and touchpad experience on the laptop is satisfactory. The keyboard offers chiclet style keys which press down with a low clicking sound and may feel spongy at first but with time will grow on you. The keys have short travel although they are still better than the Apple MacBook 12 inch keyboard. All said and done, the keyboard still has the same issues we pointed out on the 14 inch model. The page down and page up keys are still squeezed in with the arrow keys which makes pressing either of the keys a challenge for touch typists. The top function key rows is also a bit small compared to the rest of the keyboard which makes the keyboard look cluttered. However, the worst part is the lack of any volume or media controls on the keyboard and the absence of two-stage backlighting. Below the keyboard lies the big smooth touchpad which offers the same experience as the one we used on the 14-inch model. You have a mattish surface to work on and it tracks well without any issues. We did not find any issues using Windows 10 gestures and since Acer has employed Windows Precision drivers for the job, it should get timely updates if Microsoft adds more gestures to the mix. As for the two left and right click buttons at the bottom, they work well, pressed down with a small audible click. On the keyboard deck, you also get the swipe style fingerprint scanner, which is neither that precise nor that fast. As mentioned earlier, the Acer Swift 3 is powered by the latest quad-core AMD Ryzen 2500U processor. On paper, this new 15W chip is similar to its Intel counterpart, the Intel Core i5-8250U. However, it has a lower boost clock speed than Intel's which translates into slightly lower single-core performance. However, in multi-core performance, the processor posted a better score. On this particular machine, the performance is not evenly matched by the much slower 1TB hard drive from Western Digital. Hence, it ends up with a lower score in PC mark compared to the Core i5 counterpart. The best part about the new Ryzen processor is the integrated Vega GPU, which outperforms every other integrated GPU currently available on laptops in India. The chip pushes almost double the scores compared to the UHD 620 in more than one synthetic benchmark. However, this still does not mean that you can play the latest AAA games on the laptop. That said, the Acer Swift 3 or any Ryzen 5 or higher powered laptop should not have any issues running casual esports titles like Dota 2 smoothly. Of all the things that impressed us about this laptop, the battery life is just about average. The 48 watt battery provides a decent 4 to 5 hours of usage for day to day workload, which is nothing great. If you end up binge watching a series at full brightness, you might even see lower battery numbers. All in all, the Ryzen powered Acer Swift 3 is a complete laptop covering all the essentials but nothing more. The laptop's performance, display quality keyboard and touchpad and even the I.O. selection falls in line with its peers. We feel the battery life is pretty average and the keyboard though functional could have been better, all things considered. Acer does provide a pretty good package for the price. We do believe that adding an SSD in the mix might have given the laptop a more promising performance but that might have compromised the pricing. Thank you for tuning in and for more videos like this one, you can subscribe to our channel.